Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1. Fathead Candy Roth getting up to about 80 today. Sunshine. Gorgeous. Uh, cannot wait. Today, tomorrow, both uh, going to be like matching days, Candy. So Fine exciting. with me. Keep it coming. I'm very happy. Very, very happy. I'll tell you, it was unbelievable to uh, drive out to Leah's tennis match yesterday in that gorgeous weather. It was all the way in South Hold, Sound Avenue, all the way up, like almost near Orient. Like we were probably 15 minutes from the ferry, Candy. It was. Yeah, far out there. It's out there. uh, And, uh, but just beautiful. Sat, you know, under a tree, gorgeous weather, watched the match. It It was a tough one. We were not victorious, but. Uh, you know, pretty good out there on the court. Very fun to watch, you know. Would uh, you say that Leah's team is like the Giants? Yeah, you know, that's not a bad comparison. On any given day, they have the talent to beat anybody. They really do. I uh, believe you. Believe yeah. me, I believe you. We are not, certainly not, and I'm being very honest about this. That's a great comparison. I I will sit here. The one thing I am when it comes to my children in whatever they do, I am probably to a fault way too honest about exactly how they are, right? So I think honesty is a beautiful thing. Yeah, but like in anything, like if they, uh, you know, the a test that they should have got a ninety eight on, and they come back with an eighty seven, I'm like, you know, I, I'll, I'll, you know, give them a little what for. Like it, it's, I'm very honest about a lot of these things, and I will tell you, they are like the Giants. They can have that dream season. They can play so well, uh, but. On certain days, they could also look like the Chicago Bears candy. So, mm. you know, it is. Uh, it, it is, is what, what it is. is. But you gotta yeah. keep plug in and enjoy it and learn from it. And you had a beautiful day for it, no question about that. My other question, sweet Abigail. Now she's been sick. I think you've uh, locked her in a room and said, "Okay, we'll see you in a few days." <laughs> she she has skipped school. Uh, today for the second straight day. Okay, see, she's not feeling well. She's not skipping. She's staying home because she's sick. Right. Well, I mean, she's skipping because she's sick. Right. Uh, she will probably. I'm hopeful she gets back tomorrow. Any um, fever, coughing? What's going on? No. Lo- well, there is coughing. Very stuffy. Um, tested her a number of times for COVID. Uh, she is negative. She's just. She's got a pretty bad cold and i'm hopeful that tomorrow she's back at school Kim. i hope so and i hope nobody else gets it and i hope you're treating her well did you run out and get soup for her uh no she's i'll get her whatever she wants she's fine she's i'm always i'm always pushing that soup on my kids when they're sick always no she didn't she doesn't want any soup she's good every you know she's like She's fine in a sense that she's handling it okay. And don't you worry about us getting any other kids sick because I don't I'm not think, worried. I don't think anyone at our school, including teachers, are worried about getting anybody sick because there's just, it's a free for all out there, Candy. It's, you don't eat, people aren't even testing for COVID anymore. They could be running around with it, feeling sick, and not even know they have it. And uh, the flu. Is yeah. creeping up, as we know. So it could be a number of things. Yes, no, but I, whether it's a cold, whether it's a flu, yes, I'm not saying it's it's everyone's got COVID. My, my daughter does not. Uh, but it, whatever people are sick with, there's a lot of different things going around. Uh, it is in the schools right now. There are so many people sick. I get, you know, they'll come home from school. They'll be like, oh, this one is sick. This teacher is sneezing. This one is this. This one is Yeah, it, oh. it's, yeah, it's bad. I remember yeah. those days. Absolutely not good. It, it is now, wild. a friend of Brian's went to a wedding. And 35 out of the 100 guests came down with COVID. So, uh, with that we in just mind. don't know. With that in mind, that's an incredible statistic. It is. Yeah, bad. Uh, Amy, my sister, a couple of weekends ago, I want to, unless I'm getting this wrong, I don't think it was this past weekend. I think it was the weekend prior. Uh, She traveled like six hours by car to a wedding. And 
I think it was uh, her husband's side of the family. And, you know, stayed in a hotel and the whole thing. And she said there were so many people that were under the weather or, yeah, just, it's Don't tough. Know. It mm-hmm. is tough. That's why I don't go out. <laughs> yeah. I t- no, I told you, at Bay Gardens, when I was at Bay Gardens on uh, a great event we had on Sunday, I had some people ask for you, and I said, no, no, she is she is home. She loves being home. I do. I'm a true Cancerian, a home buddy. That is where she is safest, you know, and happiest. Yes, in her own little world. Nobody Absolutely. infiltrating. Yeah. Uh, another place that we're happy most of the time is when we go through a drive-through, the fast food drive-through candy. You know what I want? I what? might have to go get it today. It's going to be really nice. I want a Wendy's pumpkin frosty. All right, go do it. You treat I'm yourself. Have to go through the drive-through. So go ahead with your story. Treat yourself. Well, it's uh, they did a whole drive-through study. Uh, they took the 10, uh, 10 of the biggest fast food chains, and they had mystery shoppers visit over 150 locations for each one. And here are the things that they came up with. The fastest drive throughs overall for quickness. Taco Bell was one. KFC was two. And Carl's Jr. was three. Oh, wow. Now, the slowest was Chick-fil-A, which you'd expect. There's a big line at Chick-fil-A. Such a line all the time. But with that, they also found Chick-fil-A was the most accurate for getting the orders correct. Hmm. Uh Uh-huh. Chick-fil-A was number one. Do they hire smarter people there? Or their system is easier? Why is that a fact? I've spent... Probably half of my adult life in a Chick-fil-A drive through kid. You're kidding me. I had no idea. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Uh, but uh, as I embellish, I will tell you, I've spent enough time in a Chick-fil-A drive through The customer service. Now, now, let's put aside for a second some of the uh, things uh, at Chick-fil-A as far as you can't get food there on Sunday or the line is incredibly long and all these different things. Okay. Their customer service is second to none. It oh. really is. All it, right. Their training program, whatever they're doing to these people that are training to work at Chick-fil-A, second to none. The smile on the face, the helpfulness, the getting everything right, how they move the lines along, you don't feel like you're waiting. You ju- it's, it's not... It doesn't feel bad when you're oh. when you're doing it. Yeah, um, Chick Fil A was the most accurate in this study. Burger King was second, and McDonald's actually for accuracy was third. Believe it or not. Well, congratulations for getting the orders right. Yes, the biggest thing that drive-throughs mess up is when you ask for no ice in your drink and you receive a drink with ice. That is the number one mess up. I can uh, understand that. The second is pickles, believe it or not. When pickles. you say when you say no pickles, because they put pickles, I love pickles, but I want the pickles. Right. They put pickles on everything, all these different places. But when you say no pickles and your stuff comes with pickles, that is the second uh biggest oh, mess up. Life's yes. tough. Life's tough yeah. out there. Uh-huh. And uh finally the study found that you could make drive throughs even faster by making sure the person working is speaking clearly into the microphone because you know sometimes you can't hear. Sometimes them. you cannot hear them. Yeah, that could shave. That off makes a you full wonder: minute. can they hear me? Yes, I think about that from time to time. Absolutely, I'm 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 one of those old men that's yelling my order to the screen. Oh, I can only imagine. Yeah, uh, and there you go. So uh, you know, a little. Little study for if you want I quick. Don't, you know, we have a Starbucks very close to us. Okay, it's always packed, solid, always, always, always a line. Sometimes it stops traffic because yes. people will just wait, 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 and they don't get out of the way, and you can't move, and it's a whole traffic jam. And every day, I mean, people will wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. I wonder what their service rates because they seem to be taking a long time. People will wait for their Starbucks for oh, sure. Man, it's unbelievable. I would never wait like that. 
there's not many places, and I even I would even say that if you drive by a Dunkin' Donuts drive-through and there's too many cars, you're pulling away. But if you drive through drive by a, a Starbucks and there's too many cars, you're getting online. Candy. It's unbelievable. Up the street, causing yeah. a traffic problem, can't get around them. Unbelievable. Now, just a quick recap: if you want speed. Taco Bell and KFC are number one and two for speed, but they are not near the top for accuracy. So check the bag, okay? Okay. All right. We are less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Got a beautiful day getting up to 80. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.